Hey guys, welcome back. I'm James from Zen Systems, and today we're going to take a look at how to change your extension status in the 3CX WebCard application. So let's jump in. Now, changing your status in the 3CX web client is actually quite simple. And whether you're in the people pane, the contacts pane, the chat pane, call history, etc., the options always remain up here on the right hand side. And you can see that currently my status is set to available. Now, if I click on this button, you'll see the drop down menu allows me to change from available to away to do not disturb lunch or business trip now these are actually customizable but you can actually also by clicking the little pencil here on the right hand side set a custom status message um, so that means that anybody will see this when you set to this status i'm actually going to change this to let's go to away i'm going to change my custom status message to gone out okay and then I'm going to change to away and you can see here that my my extension John Smith has changed to amber for away and says gone out now another really neat thing is that you can actually set a status temporarily so if I click on set status temporarily you can see that I want to change status to away um, and I want to do it for 15 minutes and I can set the status message here and I can click OK which means that in 15 minutes time this will flick back to available. Whilst we're looking at extension statuses it's worth um, having a look at the forwarding rules. So each one of these uh, statuses can have uh, a different impact on how calls are received by your extension. So if I set that back to available and what we'll do is we'll go into settings and we'll go to call forwarding. In call forwarding you can see the different statuses and also the exceptions. So I'm just going to quickly start with available and I'm going to go through these relatively quickly. So again under available I can set a custom status message but you can see here that there is the ability to change for the unanswered calls the no answer timeout currently set to 20 seconds and then for again unanswered calls I can then change what happens to external calls or what happens to internal calls now currently if I don't answer a call within 20 seconds external and internal calls will both go to my voicemail I can actually change that for independently so under external I can change that to go to an extension number so that could be somebody else in the business I could uh, forward calls to my mobile I could forward them to an external number could be an answering service or I could go to a system extension something like a queue or a ring group or I can send a busy tone and that's the same for internal calls so for busy or not registered you can also change this so external calls and internal calls the same independently so extension number my mobile external number system extension or send a busy tone now at the bottom here we've got general options for the available status also ring my mobile accept multiple calls and accept push notifications so also ring my mobile means that when somebody calls me and I'm on the available status this will ring my mobile phone my mobile phone number at the same time accepting multiple calls means that I can accept calls from more than one extension or external sources and push notifications means that the mobile application will receive calls um, even in the in the closed down option all of those can be untoggled or toggled up now one thing to note with also ring my mobile is that if you do toggle also ring my mobile that means that if the period of time that's set on your mobile for your mobile voicemail to kick in is less than this time here 20 seconds which is the timeout for an unanswered call 
the call will or 3CX will transfer that call to your mobile effectively and if your voicemail answers that 3CX will feel that you've answered the call it's, it, it can't intelligently know that that's a, a voicemail message rather than you answering the call so it's important to understand if you do set also in my mobile that this time frame here of 20 seconds matches the the time it takes for your mobile answer machine to kick in so if we click to away the um the status is slightly different so as you can see here i edited that earlier to gone out that's still there um forward internal calls to currently voicemail i can change uh, the out of hours voicemail i can toggle that uh, and again external calls currently set to voicemail but again i can also change that to out of hours voicemail and this one just has the accept push notifications option so looking at these options they are the same for available so voicemail extension number my mobile external number system extension and send busy do not disturb very similar to away no custom status message set on that lunch is actually very similar to available except you can put a custom profile name here and all other options are the same business trip very similar to away and then you've got exceptions so under exceptions you can actually during any of these stasis you can set an exception for a particular telephone number I'll use the wife as an example so if I wanted my wife's calls to come through at any time I would put her mobile number in here and then I would choose to receive during all hours office hours out of office hours specific hours specific hours excluding holidays outside specific hours and outside specific hours including holidays and then the option here is I can send a busy tone go to a system extension could forward to an external number go to my mobile route it to uh, an extension number within the system or go to my voicemail and then you simply click save thanks so much for taking some time to watch the video with us today we love putting them together and it's really important that we're putting valuable content together for our customers so if you want to see any other videos subscribe if you've got any ideas of other videos that we can do for you stick them in the comments below